Hey, what's up, guys? I thought that I would do a, a home showcase, and I want to make an episode for each house. That way, they are all pretty much easy to be found, really individually. Um, it's not like I'm some crazy super builder. Not Corrales, even though he is my big Just I don't think I build enough, um, or like and really awesome builds like he does um <clears throat> and i i don't know for some reason i think he's actually an architect so he has a you know he has the right kind of eye for this stuff but i still love building the stuff that i see in my head it's really fun to me i enjoy it super a lot so i think i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys house by house what i've built so far in this world um, this world I created literally just for buildings anyway. As you can see, they're more like, kind of like model homes that if I wanted to recreate them in a survival world, then I would kind of quote-unquote template, okay? So this first house here is to fly over. It's symmetrical completely. And, um... <clears throat> Minus the materials, or, or depending on where you're at in your uh, seed, your survival seed. Um, this is actually pretty easy to make as far as size and uh, supplies available. Because it's really not... Um, <clears throat> it's definitely not a house you want as your first survival house. Like your, your, you know, your first little house in survival mode. But once you've been acquiring materials, because, you know, this stuff doesn't have to be made out of clay at all. Uh, just whatever you want. But I started off the corners first, actually. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I started off with these corners first. I, I made all the corners. And then I that I wanted these two back corners to be closed and be a room of some of some sort. And I knew I wanted, I wanted the living room area and I wanted this to stay open. And I knew I want to close um, this right here with a column. I wanted to leave the glass open, like wrapped around. What I did here, this is obviously the living room area and the kitchen, it's, it basically just has all the stuff that you need. It doesn't, I'm, I really don't try to focus too much on making it look like a kitchen kitchen, like a, a, a replica kitchen, but, oh crap, in survival mode, it has all of the, um, things that you need, you know, like, the practical items. And back here we have a bathroom, which is also encased in glass. And so that's that room. And you get this little hallway. Who knows, you could put whatever. You could probably even close it off right here and make it into another tiny, small guest bedroom. I don't know, whatever. But the bedroom is wrapped around in glass as well. And it looks pretty uh, bland in here. But it is this basic kind of thing. And, um, like I said, it was really, really easy to make. Sand is easy to come by in survival, especially when you're near, like, the water. It's really easy to come by. So these glass panes, you could even just use, um, just glass blocks or whatever. And that's that. It's a really easy house to make. Like I said, um, I started off with the corners first, and then I knew that I wanted this type of thing I, I kind of like these um, in the front I like these taller rectangular shapes that kind of frame the door so I <clears throat> start off with the corners and then I connected them by placing the clay down in a cross pattern to like enclose it encase it and that is oops and that is it.
for this house, you guys. Um, I do want to keep these episodes nice and short. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing one house at a time. And um, I don't know what to call this. I'm going to call it Foursquare. I don't know because it reminds me of Foursquare. And... And uh, the title of this house will be Foursquare. So if uh, you guys don't want to miss any other ones, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace.